Temple and Monty will also be with us tonight. Now, the Royals scored just 26 runs over a nine-game stretch, and then last night busted loose for 13 runs and blew out the number one team in the National League Central, the Chicago Cubs. Oh, Fizz, it was a beautiful thing. The offense broke out, frenzy hitting all over the place. And, of course, who's driving the bus? Whit Merrifield's in that seat, that's for sure. But they all followed. And if you'll notice some of these swings, they're all under control. Nobody's swinging for the fences. They're trying to find the holes, and that's what they have to do tonight in game one of three against a good Minnesota's team. Now, StatCast, powered by Google Cloud, will show you. Look where they went. We've been trying to preach to them to go the other way, and look at that, Fizz. Those colors are a beautiful thing, especially when they land not in a glove. Brad Keller was the recipient last night of the Royals' offensive onslaught. Jacob Junis hopes to see more tonight as the Royals meet the Minnesota Twins next. Got is the lineup that he'll see tonight will be Max Kepler to lead things off, who had a lot of home runs last year with 36. Polanco, Sano, Rosario, Cabe, Gonzalez. Offensively, they're batting 236 this year with 5.2 runs per game. On the mound, Jacob Junis, he had that start last Sunday and pitched very well, gave up two runs at four in a third innings, had that slider working, and just the poise that he displayed on the mound. He has that strike one mentality, much like Brad Keller. He's very aggressive pitcher. Yeah, let's hope he, he continues. I mean, he, 13 of 18 first pitch strikes in his last outing. He's got what it takes. There's no question about it. The four-seamer going to have to be careful with that, uh, with this team, because they are uh, really good at fastballs in the middle. Keep it on the edges. Forward around the horn, Royals, Royals defense center fielder Nick Heath, his second big league start. He looked good out there last night. Hopefully he can make a few plays for Jake Junis. Ryan McBroom at first base. He's hit safely in the last four out of five games. Hopefully he'll stay hot. Rocco Baldelli is the skipper of the Minnesota Twins, and he did an outstanding job last year helping the Twins lead things off with Merrifield, followed by Soler, Perez, McBroom, Mondesi, Gordon, Franco, Lopez, and Heath, and hopefully they'll swing the bats like they did last night against Devin Smeltzer, who will make his first start of the year. The left-hander out of Philadelphia has made two relief outings, giving up six runs in four and two-thirds innings. Now they can get to him, but they don't try to do too much. Now, if they try to pull him, he's going to you know, he'll, he'll hit a lot of ground balls. So just like last night, hit it around and hit to the situation. Defensively behind him, Byron Buxton in center field, he's been the Twins defensive player of the year three out of the last four years. Mitch Garver, the catcher, he won a silver slugger award last year, a silver bat. He was awesome. We had a very good game yesterday in that 13-2 win over the